Hey guys, I uh, normally I don't really like talking on my YouTube videos, but um, I had a lot of requests from my subscribers and um, and some other people through email asking me to document the uh, process of uh, modifying a Playmates tricorder into a more elaborate tricorder with um, many more LEDs and uh, an authentic uh, tricorder scanning sound, including the opening ratchet sound. Um, as you all probably know, this is an original Playmates tricorder, unmodified, uh, from the factory. Um, actually, this one already has the belt uh, clip removed, just to make it a little bit more of an authentic type of tricorder. Um, and as you know also that nothing happened with this unit until you actually hit the power button up here. And then nothing further. All that did was actually turn on the main view screen light. To get these lights to activate you had to hit any one of these three buttons down here. And this is actually activated by one halogen bulb that's sitting under here that illuminates this whole uh, array of lights here. Um, and this is just illuminated by one uh, halogen bulb as well. Um, this one actually has been changed by me into a blue uh, LED or blue halogen actually. And the main graphic has also been changed by me. This is not the original graphic. Other than that, this is an original Playmates tricorder. Um, as you can see, uh, you know, nothing fantastic about it. The nicest thing about this was that the, the body itself was a, a pretty, pretty decent shell. Uh, very durable plastic. Uh, the color was, you know, pretty close to the show. Um, but other than that, that's it for that. Um, what you wind up doing first is taking all the electronics out from inside uh, this unit here. Um, that includes, you know, taking the power button out, taking all these buttons out, taking this whole array uh, for the lights, the, everything for the, for the graphics, the main graphic, and pretty much take all the decals off as well, as you won't really be reusing them. The only one I think I may reuse is just the uh, Emerge uh, red button in there. But other than that, everything else gets changed out completely. Um, and that's um, that's the first process is gutting, basically gut this out so you're left with a hollow shell. Um, and that, that also includes, you'll see when you take these decals off, this one and this one, there's four hidden screws under here that allow you access into the bottom uh, door, the flip door. Um, now once you do that, um, you usually you will have two uh, pieces for the main body. You wind up taking this whole flip door out, um, and you're just working with these two pieces first. Um, easier to work with them uh, separate as opposed to keeping them together. Um, at least that's what I found. And what you basically have to do is create new um, openings. There's one square there on the top left. There's one square there for your power uh, light. You do have to um, cut these three out right there. Those are already open for you, thank God, once you remove the green buttons here. Um, and you wind up cutting this whole piece out here, that fake wheel, uh, from the inside which I'll show you in a minute. Um, basically, the nice thing about it is the new graphics will cover any any kind of imperfections. Um, I got pretty lucky that this, this one came out perfect, as well as this one. This one was the hardest one because it's so small. Um, including these. Um, well, the bottom two came out pretty good. The top one, uh, the tool kind of ran amok and cut a little bit too much off the top there. Um, but what's what's nice is the new graphic that goes over this whole piece here will cover that imperfection right there and any imperfections around here around the the tight edges um, any any kind of imperfections over here that you can't clean up with a uh, with a file but other than that that's what it looks like once you're done making the new cuts at least from the front uh, the inside also 
poses a bit of a challenge as you have to dremel out or somehow cut and file out um, the cabinet, the speaker cabinet, and any posts that were holding in all the electronics. Uh, posts such as like these, um, that one and that one that's in the corner there. Those are the only two that they ask you to retain. Other than that, there was quite a few along here, here. Um, there were some over here in the corner. And as I mentioned, this comes out by cutting it out from back here because it actually, from the inside, it's a, it's a dome. So it makes it pretty easy to cut out. And once you've got it out, you just have to clean up the edges to make it a perfect uh, square. And also, for some reason, um, your three buttons from Playmates, okay, this whole section here was raised. So you do have to um, sand it, file it, and dremel it, whatever you got to do to get it flush. Uh, you'll find that if you don't do the little minor things such as the posts, the cabinet, and uh, this um, section here, is that the new electronics will not fit flush. And uh, it just won't look right. So that's that. Then you get to the top array, which probably poses the biggest um, challenge. Um, these holes probably being the easiest. Um, this is for your your clear dome, which is right here, and eventually where the blue light will shine through. Um, goes over the graphic there. Um, these two small red LEDs, I will oops, <laughs> I will post into these two from inside um, and even though the lead light that shines through there is already red it just gives it a better effect uh, those remain open um, that poses a bit of a challenge to make it perfectly square um, but probably the hardest thing was this section right here um, cutting it out making sure that this thin section of plastic that's left over is not cracked. Obviously it does crack, you can always repair it, but it's nice if it doesn't. Um, and then you're cutting into this and into this. Now, when you're doing that, you'll have three sections to work with. This top section here of the main body, the bottom section of the main body, and the top of the battery door. Actually, when you're working on this piece here, you still have the whole battery door. Um, I'll show you why it's been cut and why they ask you to cut it. This, eventually when you're done cutting, gets glued all together. And I, obviously, for obvious reasons, for cosmetic reasons, I chose to glue it from the inside. Um, basically just used um, basic super glue from Staples. And then before you put little dabs of glue there where you're going to seal it or glue it and before the glue actually dries which only takes a few seconds um, you sprinkle some of this powder on what this powder is is basically once it bonds with the super glue it creates you might be able to see here it creates a plastic basically um, this is a very hard plastic now so it's almost like you're bonding plastic to plastic. This thing is never going to come apart unless you crack it. The other nice thing is it doesn't show through. It um, doesn't leak through. It actually stops the glue from leaking through. Because that is usually a you know, common, common uh, uh, characteristic of super glue, especially very liquidy like that. But as soon as you sprinkle that powder, the bonding powder, it, um, the glue basically soaks through and is, is attracted to the to the powder so it doesn't have a chance to even seep through at all. That's the reason why you don't see anything in any of the seams. So that is your main body once you're done. Um, the reason, as I mentioned, for cutting or for the, the battery door being out is you, you have to. This is all one piece. So you remember from the original one. 
All right, what you wind up doing is cutting uh, perfectly a line here and a line here and you're creating basically an access panel you know this is the battery door before um, you're creating an access panel just in case you ever need to get the electronics again at some later date um, or obviously to change the batteries um, so this is your new access panel and all it was 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 basically just once you cut that out you're taking the what's left over of your battery door after cutting it from this piece here you don't do that until you've done these cuts though otherwise it makes it near impossible to do these cuts on the battery door or the top of the door once you do that you can go ahead and cut your battery door along that line and then you glue your battery door to the other section that you just cut off the back um, that whole section right there um, and you can cover up these openings which you would want to do because you know that the lights will shine through or bleed through any way you want to you can do putty you can do um, styrene I just chose to do to cut up a uh, an old reward card from a, from a local store and just I got lucky that it was black um, the other side of it was black so after gluing them on here it's there's you can't see anything through there um, the only thing that's obviously left open are the uh, the holes for the screws these because these will be the only two two uh, screws you'll need to hold this down and what you wind up doing is also uh, gluing a piece of plastic um, that sticks out just a little